All right. If uh, you're afraid to travel, particularly places like South America, Latin America, any place where this uh, Zika virus is out of control, you're probably wondering, maybe I should just stay home or maybe leave it in the hands of experts who have another way to combat this virus, these deadly mosquitoes with, well, other mosquitoes. Company Oxitec is ready to unleash an army of such mosquitoes. That is the extent of my knowledge. Fortunately, the guy who runs this company knows a lot more and what's at stake. CEO Hayden Perry. Uh, Mr. Perry, good to have you. Hi. Explain how this works. What are you trying to do? Sure. Well, what we're trying to do is we're trying to actually reduce the number of mosquitoes that are out there in the town or the city. Because these mosquitoes, called Aedes aegypti, which are invasive mosquitoes in the U.S., they're spreading viruses like dengue, chikungunya, and now Zika. And the less of them, the less likely they will be to spread disease. So we send out male mosquitoes, and males don't bite or spread disease, so it's only the females that bite you. We send out males that really can't reproduce. So these males will go out, they'll mate with females, and the offspring actually die. So if we can put out more males than the wild ones that are out there, then more of these females will mate with insects which can't reproduce and the population will come crashing down. So two things I learned then that it's female mosquitoes that are the problem. They bite and the male mosquitoes are perfectly fine. And they have no and they get a bad rap, they're lumped in with all mosquitoes, when in fact it's the female mosquitoes who are the problem, right? That's right. It that's, that's correct, actually. Every mosquito that's ever bitten you has been a female. I, I, I suspect it as much. I'm glad you confirmed it. Now, let me ask you then, Ms. Barry, about how this could go wrong, because while I'm not the expert you are, I've seen a lot of adventure movies and thrillers where some uh, you know, government-concocted plan goes horribly awry, and now you have twice as many mosquitoes causing God knows what on the earth. Well, of course, we're only releasing the mail. So we're only releasing the males which don't bite, um, which don't spread disease, but first and foremost, and they can't reproduce. Nice. So there's nothing that's actually going into the environment that's actually going to spread or even stay there. Every mosquito we release is going to die, and the offspring are going to die. How so do we you know that? How, how do we know that the offspring dies? Because again, in these movies that I watch, that's not what happens. Yeah. Well, we've done um, about f 15 years of research on this. We actually developed this in 2002, and we've done um, outdoor field trials ever since 2009. So this is extremely well tied, tried and tested, and we've been testing it in, uh, in Cayman, in Panama, in Brazil. Um, we also and what have, have been the results of the tests, like let's say Panama and Brazil, which by the way is particularly in Brazil's case, the epicenter of a lot of this. Yeah, so the, the results have been very good, actually. If you imagine a town with these mosquitoes in, we've shown that in every single trial, every single one, we've reduced the mosquito population by over 90% in about six months, which is way better than you can do with insecticides or any other intervention. Do uh, mosquitoes in general, let's say that the, these male mosquitoes do the trick, they mate with the female mosquitoes, uh, the, they have little baby mosquitoes, the baby mosquitoes die. There's a possibility we have no more mosquitoes, right? Or, or, or is that something you don't want to, to push too hard because do mosquitoes have some value to the ecosystem? Well, some mosquitoes have some value to the ecosystem, um, mainly in the areas where they come from. But this Aedes aegypti, this one that is spreading Zika virus, that is such a threat, this is an invasive species in the U.S. and indeed in the, in the rest of the, of the Americas. It shouldn't be there. So it's not our objective to wipe out the mosquito. Um, it's our objective to protect people. But if you did re remove the mosquito from a certain area, from a city, a town, an right. island, a region, then actually you'd be returning the ecosystem to what it should be. Have governments anywhere recruited you to do just this? Well, we've got a lot of endorsement at the moment. So the World okay. Health Organization have actually put, put out a, a positive recommendation, having studied all our data. Um, the Food and Drug Administration has actually studied, we put a file into them in 2011, so they've now produced a preliminary finding of no significant impact, meaning no significant negative impact on the environment or human health. All right. Brazil, we've got national biosafety clearance across the whole country. So we're, get, we're getting there. All right, thank you very much, Hayden. Perry Oxitec, CEO.